Hey everyone, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate the support. In this one, I wanted to speak to you guys about shadow work and how I've kind of been changing my opinion on shadow work a bit. And I wanted to share that change and my new opinion with you guys on how I've been dealing with a lot of the negative shadows that we have, or I shouldn't say negative, just shadows that we have in general. Shadow work is something that is extremely important to do, especially if you're interested in the spiritual path at all, or if you're interested in any kind of personal growth, because shadows are the ones that hold us back. They're the ones, they're the triggers, they're the, the demons that tell us that we're not good enough, or they're the ones that, that criticize us when we're trying to do something different, or they're the ones who make us yell at other people inconsequentially because we're afraid of something inside of us. You know, there's all of this stuff that comes up because of shadows. And most of us don't spend any time thinking about shadows, of course, because it's scary and it's annoying and it's fear inducing. And it's something that most people don't want to think about. I get it. I didn't want to think about it for the longest time either. And so most of us will spend our time avoiding thinking about shadows they might come up and they might trigger us and instead of actually being like all right what is this that's causing me to go berserk all of a sudden we'll just avoid the whole situation we'll dump a bunch of sugar into our body or we'll call someone or we'll have alcohol or we might do some drugs something anything to numb ourselves and to prevent us from thinking about what exactly is going on and so a lot of people do different things for shadow work a particular book that i recommended to you guys in the past is the dark side of the light chasers it's a really good book on shadow work, on shadow work in general, but particularly in this regard, in, in, in this moment in time, what I've been thinking a lot about shadow work is that I used to spend a lot of time journaling and writing about things and trying to figure out my issues or the deep dark demons that um, were holding me back or things like that. So I spent a lot of time doing that. And I realized as time went on that, you know, no matter how much I journaled, I wasn't able to a lot of times figure out what the underlying issue was. I would sit there and I'd think and I'd think and I'd think and I'd write and I'd write and I was still stuck in the past and the demons. I was still held back. And so as I, as I progress and I'm in this year right now, I'm thinking that, or I've been thinking that a lot of the shadow work that we're doing related to journaling what it's trying to do is that it's trying to look at the underlying issue and then fixing it so that we can move past it. But a lot of the shadow work that I've been doing in this this year, the last past year, has been related to psychosomatic work, which is basically going in deeper into the body, going into the physical structure, removing whatever is in the physical structure, anxiety, tensions, fears, and all that, and removing that and not worrying about where it came from or what it what, what you know what it was what was the cause of it and etc not going deep into it just removing it entirely by doing the work the physical work so tre has a lot to do with that the tension and trauma releasing exercise i've spoken about this in the past and so you do these exercises uh, yoga has a big deal to do with it as well tai chi qigong any kind of energy physical energy work it is really good for the psychosomatic work and so basically what happens is that you do the work, the physical work, the movement and the asanas and things like that, and then it removes that underlying tension or the underlying physical manifestation of your psychological issue. And as soon as the physical manifestation is, is removed, because the psychology is reflected by the physiology and the physiology is reflected by a psychology, your, psychologi your psycholo psychological shadow or whatever the trigger was or that tension is removed as well. And because it's kind of connected to each other and they're interrelated, once you do the physical work, the psychological work automatically gets done, which is brilliant. Because I realize that I really, a lot of times I really don't care where that underlying issue came from. I don't really want to know if it was my ancestor or if it was a childhood issue or if it was because someone said something to me in university or things like that. I don't really care about that i just want the issue to go away so i can move past it and then grow and keep on moving to become that better and better person and so tre is a great one for that as you guys know but a lot of what i've been doing now has been related to figuring out where 
the shadow is or what am I particularly dealing with in regards to like, all right, so I have a really hard time editing my novels. Why is that? What shadow is it related to? And if I figure out something to do with rejection or something to do with fear, then what I'll do is I'll do some asanas, some poses or some tiare work based on fear or EFT actually is a big one for this as well. And so you do some work related to either EFT or TRE or asanas like yoga poses and you do it related to fear. So a lot of fear is stored in the heart. So you might do a bunch of poses that opens up the heart like Bhujangasana, which is a cobra pose. Or if you're feeling like a lot of anger regarding something, anger is usually stored in the liver. So then what you do is you do a bunch of poses that helps you cleanse the liver, that helps you release tension from the liver, from the abdominal organs. Um, one pose for that could be locus pose. That's a really good one for the abdominal area. Are there others as well? So you just Google it or you figure it out and you do those poses. And then the physical, the release of physical tension will cause you to release that psychological tension as well. And that in turn will result in the shadow work that you want to do being done, right? Now I'm not saying that this is an automatic process. Well, I, a lot of times actually it is. It's funny how sometimes I'll do TRE and instantaneously my body that was feeling some tension releases a lot of it or I'll do some EFT work, some tapping, you know, and instantaneously I feel a complete release of tension or the same thing with yoga poses. But sometimes it actually has to happen over a long period of time. So I've noticed that, as I said, a long time I've been doing these poses and I started doing TRE once a week, every week for, for a year now, since last year. And now I'm really noticing the effect of it as the tension and the stress and the, and the tightness in my body has been releasing over time little by little. And it's really fascinating to me because at first I had a lot of tension in my body and I could notice it. I mean, my jaw was always tight and there's always this tension around my eyes and my chest was always tight. I always had this hunching over thing over my, my chest and my shoulders always had some pain in it. My lower back always hurt as well. So little by little, I'm noticing that a lot of this tension is being released because of all the constant work, physical work that I'm doing on my body. And as a physical tension gets released, I notice a lot of psychological tension in terms of fear and anger and doubt and anxiety and all that stuff being released as well. So again, as I said, it's a process, obviously, and it's not just an instantaneous, you do a pose and it's gone. It takes a lot of awareness as well and a lot of noticing of where the energy is going and how the tension is being released and being really aware of your body and its issues and where do you store your tensions and how does it get released and a lot of attention has to be and awareness has to be placed on it obviously but i found for myself as an individual I really am not the kind of person who likes to psychoanalyze myself or to sit down and be like, all right, so what happened in my childhood so that I am the person I am right now? I really find that now, maybe in the past I was, I was interested in that, but now I find it's such a waste of my time. And now I'm not saying that this isn't for everyone, but for me particularly, I find it that I'm not interested in that anymore. I really don't want to know where my issues lie or where they come from, at least. I just want to know where they lie in my body so I can physically release them and thus use the psychosomatic work, the psychosomatic connection to remove it from my psychology as well. And I'm noticing for myself, at least, that the benefit has been profound. It has been mind-boggling. I've been noticing a lot of changes within my body and within my mind because of the fact that I'm doing this work. And it wasn't something that I noticed in the past. It wasn't something that I was able to notice so profoundly in the past. So obviously it is little by little, the more I do it, the more I notice the changes, the more I notice the work is actually taking effect. So this is something I wanted to really share with you guys. I don't know what kind of shadow work or if any that you guys do for yourself, but I know it's so powerful and so useful. So I really wanted to share it with you. I'd love to hear from you guys, of course, if you have anything particular to share with me, some story, some anecdote, or some insight that you have on this particular topic. I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. And obviously, if you guys have questions, obviously comment below as well, and I shall do a follow-up video. Again, I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate the support. And I shall see you guys the next time around. Bye for now.